This is Mark Lind with Aris Corporation, the Microsoft Enterprise Open Source Provider for companies that are looking for enterprise product lifecycle management capabilities in an open source format on the Microsoft platform. Uh, today we're going to take a look at functionality relevant to Agile customers that will are considering the Agile Path Forward migration program for Aris Innovator. Uh, it, we're looking at the new product program dashboard here, and you'll notice that we're in a browser here, with, but it doesn't look like a browser. We have typical enterprise application capabilities with pull-down menus and uh, toolbar so that it's familiar for users. So if we are reviewing the status of new product programs, you can see very quickly uh, phase one, phase two, phase three, what uh, new product programs are on time, on budget, on spec. Uh, the, so you can manage by exception. Uh, this is uh, very useful for new product uh, program managers as well as uh, executives and the new product team to know what's going on in the project. This one is in trouble, so let's take a look. We drill down into the actual new product program, and you can see phase one is complete. Remember sent here. Uh, phase two, uh, this uh, deliverable here, creating a process plan, is, uh, is running late. And uh, Tony Norton needs to be contacted to see what's going on. Uh, these links over on the right-hand part of the screen actually represent uh, the deliverables that the team is working on. So these are documents and business items in the system. Uh, and they are under change control. So as they are released, they will be updated and the uh, status will turn to 100% complete. Now, if I move over to parts, uh, I can look at uh, parts and bill of materials. You'll notice that uh, because we're running in a smart client web app, we can do things that uh, other web applications are not capable of doing, like sorting and filtering. Now, if I am going to look for a specific part here, let's look for the XM uh, radio receiver. This is a complex bill of materials, complex electromechanical bill of materials. Uh, I can see relevant information on the part, its weight, its cost, and the cost obviously grayed out is pulled from another system. So this is integrated with the ERP system. Uh, this is a make or buy. Uh, you also have the, the full bill of materials here, alternates, uh, approved manufacturer list, any associated documents or specifications, any characteristics. Now, if I want to drill down into the bill of materials, I can view additional levels in the bill of materials. I can also, of course, run reports, standard uh, multi-level bill of material reports, as well as uh, other reports such as uh, bill of materials costing, uh, which gives me the uh, calculated, estimated, and actual costs for different uh, components on the bill of materials. And now uh, there's full capability to customize and write custom reports. Uh, why don't we take a look at engineering change because all of this information is under engineering change. CM2 compliant engineering change. Uh, so if we look at the engineering change uh, request form, you'll see here that uh, the relevant information related to the change is included as well as any cost impact on a non-recurring basis as well as on a per, per unit basis. Uh, the affected items, the part is attached here as well as uh, any problem reports that triggered this and any files associated. Uh, now this is in a workflow, so uh, if when an activity comes for review on this, the individual who is responsible will receive an email which will have a link in it and they will come directly to the specific item that they are responsible for. Uh, they may have multiple activities that they have to conduct in order to complete the engineering change request on their step in it and uh, they can vote. Uh, they can also delegate this to another member of the team. It has dual password authentication, which can be enabled or disabled it, uh, for customers in medical device or other FDA-regulated industries. This is very valuable for 21 CFR Part 11 compliance. 
Um, documents can be attached to this form. So you also have the ability to view the actual workflow in its entirety here. So you can see what step in the process the, uh, the engineering changes that. It is right here being reviewed because it was rejected. We can view the previous sign-offs. Uh, for an audit trail, this supports uh, auditability. It also provides the capability for uh, identifying what actions are necessary uh, at different steps in the process. Now, the ARIS solution is uh, much more flexible than the Agile solution. So I'm logged in as the administrator or a developer, so I can see this. It's a roles-based interface. If I were not logged in with this uh, security permission, I would not see these folders. However, what I will do is move here to the actual workflow map, and I'm going to update the engineering change request map. and. Uh, I move in here, and let's say the engineering change process you're seeing on the screen in front of you is actually the actual running business process. This is not just a diagram. It includes uh, capabilities like uh, expected duration, reminder interval for email reminders, timeout duration where escalation would occur, uh, the reminder count, how many times this person will be notified, whether they can delegate, whether they can refuse the engineering change at this step. Uh, who it will be escalated to, and that person can delegate to other members of the team who the manager is. Uh, it can also kick off sub workflows. Um, and then because of the flexibility, we can, we can edit in real time the entire process here and actually uh, delete a step. Let's say the financial review is identified as not something that we want to continue to conduct at this step in the process. We're going to move it to another step in the process. Uh, accounting needs to be notified later in the process. So we're going to remove this activity from the business process. Now uh, we can add it in another place down here. Uh, but right now, the next engineering change that is kicked off will not have the financial review that was previously here. So uh, that kind of flexibility is unique to ARIS and provides uh, companies the ability to quickly adapt without complex programming. Uh, in addition to the functionality that you've seen uh, to date here in this demonstration, there's a broad range of uh, additional associated functionality which you can take advantage of uh, at your schedule, again, because there's no licenses to purchase with Aris Corporation. It's a Microsoft Enterprise open source offering uh, so that uh, there's complete access to the enterprise production ready system for unlimited users all at no cost. Aris simply provides enterprise class support uh, should you need it, as well as pro uh, professional services and training. Uh, now, if you are in a quality conscious organization, uh, ARIS also provides uh, process capabilities such as corrective and preventive actions, deviations, hold notices, issues, non-conforming material requests, uh, waivers, deviations. There's skills tracking for uh, skills certifications as well as sourcing capabilities here. Uh, we won't go into in this session, but there's comprehensive capabilities in the suite which can be taken advantage of all at no charge. That's it for today. Thank you very much, and take care.